What's up, my LS crazed amigos? It's your boy, Terry. Mm. Speaking from the garage shop once again. Here to offer you some more Big Bang for the Buck product and info. Yeah. What's going on, everyone? Y'all know what's up. We're getting the Trailblazer project tight. All right. It takes a little time to get things tight. So, you know, right now we're working on, because we all know what's happening. We know that we're going to convert this all-wheel drive to a rear-wheel drive. Now, there's certain things you got to do when you do this. Right now, what I'm addressing today is the front CV joints, or should I say deletion of the front CV joints. All right, so let's go over to where I'm keeping some of my parts that I just removed off this truck. Yeah, and uh, we're gonna have a little talk, all right? Let's take this over there. Well, actually, it's a couple steps away, but. <laughs> ah, we'll get that later. Now, to get my CV joint out to take, you know, like I had to cut it like this. I had to trim around it and cut it. So this is what the inside of a CV joint looks like. You see, a bunch of, it's, it's a really cool mechanism the way it works. Now, if you have an all-wheel drive, Trailblazer SS are a vehicle that's identical to the Trailblazer SS, and you're going from an all-wheel drive to a rear-wheel drive, for me, I'm gonna take the CV joints out because I don't want them in there because one, is extra weight, and two, you know, you gotta also lock the hubs down, you know, with, you know, the CV joints. So, before I even start that, let's, let me explain to you how it's going. Your front wheels, okay? Let's take this as the driver's side. Okay, so now this is how the routing of the CV joint and the front differential on the Trailblazer SS goes. Remember, front wheel drive, front wheel wheel, this is the front wheels, and this is the driver's side. So now you go from the wheels and you go to the hub. Okay, now from the hub you have your CV joint that goes out. All right, now on your driver's side, the CV joint will go into a small front differential. All right, from the small front differential, it will go through the oil pan. That's right, I said through the oil pan. It'll go through the oil pan and connect to the other CV joint on the passenger side, and then from that, it goes to the hub, and that's where, once that front differential turns, that's where you get your front wheels to turn, and that's why you have an all-wheel drive. My theory, GM put a front differential through, well, put, put it going through the oil pan, because they didn't want it to look like a regular four x four. So what they did was they said, what we can do is we can make it as low as possible if we go through the front dip, through the front oil pan. Because you ever see those four wheel drive trucks, you can look up under them and you can, <laughs> look up under them. You can look under them and you can see a front dip that looks almost like the rear. Trailblazer SS has a front dip that's about this big, it's about this wide. And uh, so that's my theory why they didn't go with one that's under the car because that would raise the car up a little too high where they want the car, the vehicle, the SUV, <laughs> to look somewhat not like, uh, to look like an SUV, but instead of look like an SUV, not a 4x4. So that's my, that's, that's my theory. It could be wrong. If I am wrong, please let me know, all right? So now, when you have a CV joint, the CV joint comes out. This is the part that goes into the front dip. This part, I had to cut it so you don't see it. But this piece goes through the hub, all right? So then you got this big nut that goes over this and it locks the hub down, okay? If you remove the CV joint, you have two options. You can get, uh, let's see, this little stub shaft that came on rear wheel drive, Trailblazer SS, it didn't have all that, all those, uh, all that uh, equipment, should we say. It looks something like this, all right? It's the same as this, you can see on the CV joint on the all-wheel drive, but the rear-wheel drive is a lot smaller and it's cool. Now, if you go to a junkyard and you find a Trailblazer, a rear-wheel drive Trailblazer SS, you'll find this on it. But good luck because they're hard to come by. And if you get one brand new, you're looking in between $130 to $170 and that's just not a budget bill for me. My option, being that this is budget bill, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cut this, cut all this out where I'm just gonna have a little stub maybe a little bit bigger than this, and we're gonna check it out and see what's up. So, let's get to work. There we go. So now what I just did was I saved myself a hundred and Let's round it off, I guess $140 for this little piece, which would be like this, you know? And so what I could do is actually I could trim it up right around here. Yeah, that'd probably be a thin piece. Yeah, I could trim it up right here. Should we do it? Let's do it. So you see, I took it a step further. Instead of having it like this, now I got it like this. So I took it 
and I start cutting right after the first step, right before it goes to the second step, like right here on this, this little flange right there, and you cut it, and it was another 15 minutes on with a whiz wheel. If you have a bandsaw, it would be a little bit quicker. Right through. So now we no longer have a CV joint, we have a stuff shaft. Put your stuff shaft in the back, just like your CV joint. Convert it. 35 millimeter nut. Goes on just like this. Put your 35 millimeter socket. Put it down. Put your brake assembly back together. And you're done. One side. I did not want to spend $300 for a set of steel uh, stuff shafts, so I made my own. All right, and you can't really tell the difference, you know, just as strong. So I'm looking at the clock on the wall, or should I say ceiling? It's time for me to head on off and do the other side and get this truck back on the road because I'm aching to see what kind of power it pushes because we just getting started. We just getting started. Now remember, if you like what I'm doing here, hit that subscribe button, all right? Hit likes. We want to try to blow this thing up, all right? So telephone, tell a friend. I know I always say, you always say telephone, tell a friend, but still, mean it, all right? Tell all your friends. Tell anyone who needs help with their LSs. Hey, check out Coverman66. I think he might have something on that page that might help you out, you know? All right? So, as always, as always, be easy, and I'll catch you guys real soon. Take care.